William Still was born on October 7, 1821, and died on July 14, 1902. William was a black man who was born free. He was the youngest of 18 children. William was born near Medford in Burlington County, New Jersey. William's father, Lemon Steele, was born into slavery and purchased his freedom and changed his last name to Still. William's mother, Charity, who was also a slave, who ran away to freedom with two of her four children. He had little schooling, but read what was available and studied grammar on his own. In 1847, he married Letitia George. The year of his marriage, he found employment with Pennsylvania Society for Abolition of Slavery. His duties were janitorial and clerical. But he soon became involved with aiding fugitives from slavery. William allowed the slaves to stay in his home before returning on their journey. He interviewed all the slaves, keeping careful records of them. While helping a runaway slave, he found his long-lost brother, Peter Still. Peter was one of the children his mother had left behind when she ran away. The finding of his brother made William realize the importance of keeping records, so he continued to do so, hoping that others would get his records and find their relatives also. These records he put together in a book titled The Underground Railroad. After the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, which stated if you find a runaway slave, you must return it to its owner, Pennsylvania abolitionists organized a committee to help larger numbers of fugitives go through the city. William became chairman of this committee. Later, he became vice president, then president, and served for eight years. While working for the society, he opened a store selling new and used stoves. Later, he established a very successful coal business. By the time slavery was over, William had helped 649 slaves to freedom. He later became known as the father of the Underground Railroad. A couple of years later, William helped establish the first black YMCA with the help of Anthony Bowen, a minister and first and African American to work in the U.S. station office. The first black YMCA was established in Washington, D.C. William Steele can be compared to Irina Sendler, who helped free Jewish kids from the Holocaust. She carried the Jewish children out in boxes, suitcases, or trolleys. Irina trained her dogs to bark whenever the kids would start to cry, so she wouldn't get caught. She was able to sneak out 2,500 kids. She also kept records of the kids' real names and buried them in her backyard and did an apple tree. We have William Steele to thank for all of the time he has put into helping free slaves. Some people would not have found their ancestors or grandparents that were ex-slaves if it wasn't for his book. We see some of his efforts still today. Thank you.